Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. It's me, your host, John Green. We are in the Euro League today. The Swindon Town Swoodly Poopers qualifying for European play. There is other John Green. That kid could use a haircut, let's be honest about it. Um, and uh, today we are playing FC Twente. Twente. I don't know how to say it, it's Dutch. For those of you who don't know, we've got, um, we're in white today, the Swoodly Poopers. And uh, I am going to tell you the story of Fat Lucas. Um, you know, I, I, I'm telling you this story because I got an email from my assistant coach yesterday. Uh, for those of you who've never played FIFA, you get emails from your coach, and your coach tells you how your players are doing, and sometimes they get better, and sometimes they get worse. And uh, Fat Lucas started out as a 64 in terms of his quality as a goalkeeping. That's out of 100. And uh, he's now down to a 60. He just, according uh, to my assistant coach, keeps getting worse and worse. But according to me, John Green, all he gets is better and better. I, I couldn't love the kid more, and I love him for his hustle, but the reason I think that he's probably struggling in terms of his, uh, his numerical uh, thing is the, is the alcoholism. Uh, for those of you who don't know, and probably none of you do, um, so Fat Lucas uh, grew up in, in England. He's, he's, he's English by nationality, and um, he is a, uh-oh, uh-oh, Speaking of Fat Lucas, um, Fat Lucas, I'm, I'm going to need you now. I need you now more than ever. Um, other John Green, very upset. What, 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 don't give S. Cuthbert a red card. That's a, I am, mm, mm, I am, I, I don't see that as a red card, admittedly. Um, oh, boy. Okay. All right, Fat Lucas. It's your time, baby. It's your time. It's your time, Fat Lucas. Do it. Do it. Yes! Fat Lucas with the great save. I mean, that was a terrible penalty. But yes, Fat Lucas. Great save. So uh, Fat Lucas is, is English. Uh, he, you know, he grew up going to, uh, like a lot of kids, uh, you know, just uh, playing a lot of football. And, um, you know, he's always on a, a club team. Came up in the, uh, the Liverpool system, actually. Um, and, uh, you know, got, got released fairly early on in his career. Um, just was clear that he wasn't ever going to be, you know, a, uh, a, a Premier League type goalie. Um, he was a big kid, so he got made fun of a lot for his size. Um, you know, bigger than most, uh, most keepers. Keepers are supposed to be, you know, agile and, and, and fit and everything. And they're supposed to have these instantaneous reflexes. And, and Fat Lucas' strategy has always been, you know what, I'm going to try to fill the goal with my girth so that I don't have to move much. Kind of like a hockey goalie. Great save by Fat Lucas. The kid is unstoppable. Um, probably should have cleared it there. My bad. I'm making, it, I'm making things hard on Fat Lucas. They need to be. Plus, I'm only playing with 10 players. So, um, so uh, you know, when you grow up ridiculed constantly about your size and told that, you know, you're not a real keeper, but you can't be a real keeper because, you know, you're, you're, you're bigger than all the other uh, goalies. And uh, it's hard. And, you know, he wasn't a great student. He, he's not, to be frank with you, an intellectual. You know, I mean, you're not going to hear uh, Fat Lucas quote after a game where he's talking about his play. Kid's not going to talk about Machiavelli, you know? Not going not gonna to be discussing uh, anything too complicated because that's not his, that, that's just not where he came from. That's not his world. That's not his, where his passions are. You know, he's truly passionate about football um, in the way that, in the way that great keepers generally are, I think. Oh, other John Green, you had a great opportunity there. Um, that was a nice release. And uh, I'll remind you, by the way, that the Swoodly Poopers are down to 10 men, and yet we are still holding our own against FC, FC Twente, a far superior team. Yikes. And just, oh, he missed the goal. Thank God. I'm sure Fat Lucas had it covered. Let's look again. Definitely had it covered. You can tell Fat Lucas... Had the whole goal covered there. So uh, anyway, when Fat Lucas was 16, he stopped uh, stopped going to school and started playing uh, football semi professionally for you know one of these pub non league pub teams. And uh, he um, you know he's always been a good keeper, great distributor of the ball. I mean, even better as a uh, you know in some ways even better as a you know the goalkeeper in some ways is the first person involved in the attack, right? Because he distributes the ball, he gets possession going, and uh, that was always Fat Lucas's strength. He could always kick it far. You know, had a great drop kick, and um, but as he uh, as he as he went along, it turns out he's he's pretty good at this game. But when you're playing for these pub teams, you know, it's every day after um, 
after practice, after games, you know, you know, sometimes during games, like you're just drinking. Like that's that's the culture of these uh, of of these pub teams. You know, they're sponsored by bars essentially, and you know, one of your essential responsibilities as a player is to indulge that. And uh, Fat Lucas. Uh, you know, uh, who's, who know, who's to say what the cause was? But, you know, Fat Lucas definitely developed uh, a problem. Pretty quickly, he was uh, bigger than he needed to be, let's say. It's nil-nil at halftime here at the, here at the Swindon Towns Woodley Poopers. He's bigger than he needed to be and uh, because of the, the beer weight. And he look at this great save. Just calm, cool, collected, great stuff. And then failure to finish by other John Green. Probably still distracted by uh, the long-term injury of his uh, husband, Bald John Green. But um, we're hoping the Swindon Town Swoodoo Poopers can come out with a win here in the second half because our future in Europe depends upon it. And this is really important to the financial future of the club, which is, which is really important in terms of getting to the Premier League because uh, we need better players. Um, one of the big problems that we have is that our players are not good enough at playing soccer. Um, they're really interesting people with fascinating backstories, but they need to be better at um, soccer. Oh, no. Fat Lucas couldn't make a decision. Great save. And, oh, no! It's an own goal. I, I, that was off. Oh, the devastation. Let's look at the replay. I'm pretty sure that was off one of the ten remaining men. Yep. I mean, uh, oh, oh, yeah. Nothing. I mean, there's nothing Fat Lucas can do about that because it's basically just a deflection goal. That's tough that on the, the day I talk about him, he doesn't get a shutout, but um, that's probably going to make him feel worse about himself. I mean, the, you know, the, but the great thing about Fat Lucas is that he's always been supremely confident in his abilities. So even, you know, when it looked like he was never going to be able to play soccer for a living, he, uh, he stuck with it and, you know, worked his way into a League Two side that became a League One side and, uh, and then became a championship side. And he finds himself still the starting goalkeeper for, uh, still, the starting, still the starting keeper for the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers, despite the fact that they are now, you know, one of the 40 or 50 best clubs in all of England. Uh, and that's a tremendous success story. The unfortunate uh, thing that's happened is that Fat Lucas has found it difficult, I think, in some ways to deal with that success, to deal with the pressure of, of being, you know, every day the number one keeper for, for a club that, frankly, is pretty weak on defense and, and relies a lot on him to deliver the goods. And uh, that's, that has ultimately been the cause, I think, of Fat Lucas's uh, struggles lately. Um, you know, he's... He's sober, and he's been sober for a long time, and I have every confidence in his sobriety. And even when the assistant coach says, you know, this guy isn't, isn't playing well, it doesn't make me think like, oh, well, you know, Fat Lucas might have relapsed. I, I don't think that. I mean, this, this guy, uh, he's, it, I, I, I believe him when, I, I, well, I trust him, you know, in the way that you trust, uh, you, you, you trust people who are on a team with you. And, and, and I, I trust him as his manager that he's being honest with me. And so I have absolute confidence in him. But at the same time, like, oh! Oh, God, Stone called Steve with a C, Austin. That was all you. Should have been a goal. Should have been a goal. That's Some of this stuff has just been tough to watch today. We're in the 72nd minute. We have mere 18 minutes to try to get a draw here uh, against FC Twente, which would be a good result, I think, at this point. Oh, come on. Be a good result. I'd, ta I'd definitely take it. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean... Come on. Dang it. So, uh, anyway, Fat Lucas has been, has been struggling a little bit, but uh, we continue to think of him as, as our starting keeper. And I'm going to think of him as our starting keeper. You know, this team has been built on loyalty, ultimately. I mean, that, that's a value that we got from Ball John Green, who could have left us for a much bigger club and, and chose not to. And, and that's something that we've taken all the way through our, our, what has to be viewed as a difficult first season in the championship. I mean, our best player is injured. Uh, we've lost some important games. We lost in Notts County. We're in bad shape here against FC uh, Twente. Um, you know, th these are Dutch footballers. They're very talented, so I don't have any... No, there's no shame in losing this game. But uh, it's frustrating. You know, obviously, we'd like to be... We'd, we'd, we'd like to be winning these. Um, and I think we've... You know, initially, after Ball John Green's injury, everybody kind of came together and, and was acting like... Uh, like we were going to be an even better team without him, but the truth is we're never going to be 
the same team without him. And that's just, you know, that's, that's being realistic. And, um, but it's been hard on, it's been hard on everybody. And I, I think that's a lot of what you see with Lucas. Um, but even so, he, you have to, you have to think of Fat Lucas as one of the, uh, one of the great players in the history of Swindon Town football. I mean, oh, gosh, should have passed. I'm sorry. That's my mistake. 87th minute, I had a chance to tie it up, and I didn't do it. Um, Fat Lucas saved a penalty in this game and, and kept us in it, but it doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Looks like, uh, looks like the Swoodley Poopers are going to go home disappointed once again. Uh, last game was a nil-nil draw. This time, one nil. We're having great trouble scoring, and uh, that can only be because our scorer and, uh, is Bald John Green. He's a finisher, and uh, he's just not with us right now, and it's tough. It's tough. I'm, I, I'm feeling it, obviously. Come on, other John Green. Other John Green. Other John Green. Could it be? No! No! Oh, the devastation. Oh, what could have been? Other John Green with a last-minute breakaway but he's distracted by thoughts of his injured husband back home and fails to score. That's the story of Fat Lucas. We lost to FC Twente. I don't know if that puts us out of Europe, but it puts us in trouble. Thank you for watching another episode of Hank Games Without Hank. Let me know you, what you want me to talk about, and I will see you next time. Actually, I won't see you, but you'll hear me next time. Best wishes.